We have one chance and that is a big challenge for us all, but we're as ready as we can be. We found out about this on Saturday. It's now Wednesday and we're filming it. Normally looking at filming activity, we'd ideally be looking at something like six to eight weeks as the shortest turnaround time and ideally months of preparation for how we rig the cameras, where they're going to go, how we best capture the performance. When the lockdown was announced on Saturday, we mobilised really quickly. We stand here ready to film the performance on Wednesday evening. We are filming it on its opening and closing night and making it available to audiences around the world through the National Theatre's YouTube channel for a limited 24 hour window. I definitely feel much more heartened and able to cope with it in the knowledge that it is being recorded and that it will get to a wider audience. There's seven hours until an audience will be sat in their seats. Before then we have to do a short note session, we have to do a blocking rehearsal, we need to capture some introductions for the performance ready for viewers to see the recording and at some point we need to eat some food. Normally in the Olivier for the NT Lives, we're here for several days. We rig lots and lots of cables over the roof. We have OB trucks and satellite trucks outside. Don't have that luxury this time. So we've brought the OB truck into the theatre and we've built a carry-in flyaway pack in, inside the theatre, behind the set. And we've spent the last day bolting it all together this evening. Loads and loads of challenges, a new way of doing things on a new show and no time to do it all. But it's brilliant fun. We've made some adjustments to the Olivier Auditorium. We've put in temporary on-stage seating and a temporary seating bank to turn this auditorium into an in-the-round format. We have three stages of cleaning, which includes fogging and touchpoint cleaning before audience members enter the auditorium. And it feels like it's always been this way, which is a testament to our teams here at The National who've put this infrastructure in place. Lockdown's been a very weird experience for everybody, and to actually be in an environment, even though we're all got you know, bits of plastic between us and wearing masks, just to see people's faces and have proper conversations with people rather than over telephones or Zooms is wonderful. It makes you realise how much we all miss it. The play, the piece lives, lives on and that's really, really great. So I'm very, very pleased we're able to do that. Especially considering the Black Lives Matter movement this year and how there's been a consciousness shift to have a play like this with the things that we're trying to articulate and and to put out in the world, to feel that it gets to a wider audience, perhaps an audience that might not necessarily come to the National, that might learn that theatre is a place for them, or that theatre has the possibilities for their voice to be heard clearly. It's deeply heartening. Live theatre is, is so vital and so important, and anything that we can do to keep it alive and give people a chance to see things has got to be a positive thing. Out of adversity, things happen, don't they? And I think we're all finding our way through trying to find new ways of doing things. This isn't the way anyone would ever have expected to capture a show like this, but it doesn't mean to say that we can't do it and we can't make it work. It's a very short run we had, you know, our opening night seems the same as our closing night. But I'm at the Olivia, man. That's pretty special. And I just want to soak that up and enjoy it as much as possible. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.